What an intro that was, huh? Hello, everybody, and welcome to Pizza Tower. Pizza Tower is such a wonderful and great game. I love Pizza Tower a lot of games. Not just because I love pizza, not just because I love towers. Uh, if you go to Pizza Tower and Tower, Uh, Pizza Tower is a 2023 indie game released at around January of last year that was, it's basically, uh, not was, basically is a mixture of Wario Land 4 and Sonic the Hedgehog in a style that's right out of 90s MS Paint, uh, Ren and Stimpy type animation, uh, and it's just a great game. It's a fast-paced platformer, uh, where you have to go through all the levels in the titular pizza tower, collect all the toppings, defeat the boss on each floor, and eventually defeat the big bad pizza guy at the end. What's his name? Pizza Face. Why is his name Pizza Face? Because he's a pizza with a face. So, I was originally thinking, I'm just going to use my master save file right here, because I already have everything unlocked. I have the main, I, you know, I have the main file, that I have these two special side modes, which we're going to get into immediately, because these are unlockables for after you beat the game, and I will save those for a separate, essentially, new game plus. That's what these are. This is your, basically your main game, and these modes are basically, this one's your new game plus, and this one's like your new game plus plus. Does that make sense? So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a nice, fresh, 0% save file. Um, and just go from there. Go through all the floors of the tower and enjoy ourselves. So, I will now raise the volume back up. And let's get into it. So, here we are in the Pizza Tower entrance. Here we've got a little piece of kitty cat. And here we've got a very handsome looking man. Hello, sir. We've got some flowers around here. We've got a nice bench with a nice welcome sign. Aw, how kind. And right here, there's a guy and a rat. Now you may be wondering, Harry, what the heck's this guy doing here? Well, that's because I am currently recording this in October. And in October, you know, it's the month of spookiness. So, a bunch of characters are here in their little spooky Halloween costumes. Uh, this guy here, whose name is Gustavo, he's dressed as a mad scientist. And his little friend, Rick the Rat, uh, is dressed as Frankenstein's monster. How cool. Anyway, hmm, seems we can't progress. Let's go through this door. And what lies beyond here, but our humble tutorial and... that song? It's the Pizza Time song from Spider-Man 2. So anyway, oh, a little sleeping pizza. What I got is that. C to jump. Hold down and in a direction to crawl. Wow. I'm already moving. How awesome. You can break marble and metal blocks underneath you for the body slam. Press down while in the air. Start the body slam from higher for a metal block. Some blocks may be hidden. Now for them, press the X to destroy them. Wow. Oh, look! A little guy trapped in a cage. He needs our help. This is a coffin. There are five per level. But they're all things you get on your pizza. Uh, you need these in order to get money at the end of each stage. And because if you don't collect a certain amount of them, you won't be able to progress. So it's best to collect as many as you can. Press X to do the grab dash, it can destroy a marble. Wow. Hold up, or no, hold shift to start a mock run. If you hold shift, then jump on a wall, you will start running. So, 
Z while running. Jump off the wall. Keep shift held to stick onto other walls. Attempt. You can also use the grab dash to start a wall run while in the air. Just keep shift held. Wow. Look, I'm jumping. How awesome. Press X, then hold shift. The quick start with the mocker. Try it out. You can also jump after pressing X in order to do a long jump. You can also simply run up a slope next to a wall to automatically start running. Oh look, another topping. This one's some cheese. We've got mushrooms and cheese. I wonder what else we'll find. <laughs> While doing a mock run, hold down to destroy blocks in a small gap. Like so. And then, if you keep holding shift, you can keep the speed going. This will become very important later. Or down during a mock run while in the air to the side. Then if you hold down, you'll keep rolling. Isn't that awesome? In order to destroy metal blocks, you need to gain speed by doing the mock run. You can hold the right arrow key to go even faster, too. Oh, look at that. Break the metal blocks. Running down is something make you go faster. Whoa! Now, I am a pizza tower veteran. Oh, by the way, we got some tomatoes. Everyone needs tomatoes for your tomato sauce. Unless you're doing a no-sauce pizza. You tasteless frick. Uh, but anyway, I am a pizza tower... I wouldn't say master. However, I've played pizza tower a lot. I've played like 30 hours of this thing. Uh, so, safe to say, if you see me doing some weird numbers that haven't necessarily been explained yet, like this... Uh, it's just what I've been used to while we're playing this game for the last, like, year and a half. Speaking of, we're doing what I just did now. So, oh, what's that? Oh, I can't get enough speed to break through the metal block. Well, obviously, obviously what we'll do is keep our speed from the start. So, shift, press the other key as you run, you will do, like, a little Akira-type slot. So, if you keep holding it like that, you can use this like a little bit of a trip. And as we just saw up here, you can use it to change your direction in the air. Let's see here. While at high speed, hold up then release it to perform the super jump. You have to adjust your position with the left and right keys while you're holding on. Like so! Oh, what the heck? Press X and then down immediately to go through gaps faster. This is a very useful uh, mechanic in speedrunning and getting a higher ranks in the game. This is because it is just a sudden quick burst of speed. So if you do X down and then hold shift and an arrow key, it'll allow you to gain a super big burst of speed. Let me show you again. So I press X down and then shift. <laughs> then here's another topic. Some sausages. You all like sausages on your pizza? I like it every now and then. I'm more of a meatball kind of guy. You can press X. You can grab things with the grab dash and throw them by pressing X again. So here's a little pizza cutout. Some jovial fun. Let's toss it. Wow. Isn't that awesome? If you hold up before throwing, you'll set things up. Send them to the moon. Collect these in order to get a better rank. Some can only be acquired during, during the escape. Hey. Escape. So these are just some like little, you know, pepperonis, cheese wedges, or whatever. Those help get you some score in a main level, which you'll see soon. And look, this pizza girl is explaining what I said earlier. You need to save most of the dudes in the cages in order to advance to the next floor. They will give you money to give to pay Mr. Stick. If you miss too many of them, you'll need to replace the levels. That's why I was saying in collect as many as you can on your first run. 
you don't need to collect every single topic and every single level in order to uh, progress through the game. You only need to collect a certain amount of them to, be, to meet the money requirement at the top of the floor. But it's best to just collect as many as you can as you go through. So here we have Pineapple. Arguably the most contentious pizza topping among everything. So I ask you all, do you like pineapple on your pizza? No, I will judge you very differently. I'm kidding. If you like pineapple on your pizza, that's fine. Destroy John the Pillar in order to open the exit. No, 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 no. This will reverse the solid pillar blocks. Which these little things. So, he is more ex I'll explain more about him when we get to our first game. Uh-oh. Keep the time. Get out now! Get out now! Oh no, we can't go through! Well, looks like we'll have to use this box! We'll get out now. We did as she said. So that is our tutorial level. That is pretty much everything that Peppino can do for the case of now, I do want to note, I will not be doing any advanced speedrun text in this, in this playthrough unless I absolutely have to. Techniques such as the dash cancel by when you're running super fast, if you jump and then press the grab button in the opposite direction, you can on the spot. You can do that in both the air and on the Do both the air and on the ground. Now also note, I am playing this on PC using a keyboard and mouse controls, which is personally what I recommend you use if you want to get the most pursuit. This game does support controllers, and controllers will work just fine. Heck, there's even a switch port. Um, switch port is good. Uh, so if you only have a Nintendo Switch, you can get your pizza tower fill on there. However, I am on PC simply just because it's easy to record, and also I prefer the keyboard controls. So, let's go for our first stage in John Gutter Hall. Which is known as John Gutter. This is our first main stage. So, here's where we'll be getting to the now, keep up with things. I'm gonna be going pretty fast, just like our Italian friend. You'll we'll see that I have a combo in the top right of that little TV screen. That combo meter is important if you want to get a better rank. The rank is always shown to you. And. top right corner. There are multiple ranks. There's D rank all the way to D e rank. And I'm going to get the D e rank on the first level to show you what exactly it is. And arguably if you want this one, I have to do the I just fell off. Don't worry, that doesn't reset your combo. So the multiple ranks. You have D rank, which is the worst you can get. There's C rank, which is, you know, D, but you don't want to try to get C rank. You have B ranks, which are pretty good, which if you're doing a level normally, you know, going fast, keep it not like super, super high combo, but a decently high combo. You know, you might lose it once or twice, better get you a B, as shown here. A rank is arguably the rank that the majority of people, you know, they're just playing the game normally, going fast, hitting enemies, like the rank, but you know, they do that more, uh, be the rank of all Again, of course, the kill varies from gamer to gamer, so, you know, well, one person might get, you know, your ranks on every level, somebody might get A's on every level. Uh, then S rank. S rank is where you basically do everything perfectly, Except for a little function called Level 2. That's just a little bit And then key rank is where you do everything for you get 
all the secrets, which are these levels as shown by these eyeballs. You have to get this guy. Jerome. I'm not going to get it here right this level, this is fine. Uh, real quick before we do that, uh, key rank is where you basically do everything in the level, and which is uh, get all three secrets, get Jerome and the secret janitor door, do lap two, and never break a combo. They are the hardest ranks to get in the game. Do not feel bad if you don't get any key ranks. Hearings is really for something that I recommend you do after you finish the game. After you beat the game once and beat the final boss, that's when I recommend you go for the hearings. I will show a P rank after this on my master save, so I've got all the P ranks on floor one. Uh, but don't worry about not getting P ranks in your first one. So, anyway, here's Pillar John. Let's destroy him! It's pizza time. What is pizza time? Pizza time is where, uh, after you get to a certain point of the stage, you'll run with that John Boy. Or that John Pillar. By hitting him, you trigger the last two, which is, in this case, a mad dash back through where you just were. Uh, I go in back through, there are new paths that are unlocked. Uh, new collectibles to get, such as the door that I just unlocked with the power of Garou. And, see how we were up there before, now we go down this way. This way, we see Long Kong. And our, this is one of the game's best tracks called Pizza Hut. Who would have guessed? Secret number three. Uh, see how I just did that slide dash sprint? That is a way to pick up speed. I just completed a chef task. Chef tasks are like little mini in level achievements. Uh, those count towards 100%. I think towards Steam Achievement. Anyway, so here we are. Going back to the front. Now, we just as easily go in. But we're not going to do that. We're going to go. Oh, never mind. These portals were unlocked yet. I thought they were. So, I just finished this stage. And I get an A ring. Isn't that awesome? So, as you can see, since I collected all five coffins, I got $50. Each coffin is worth $10. So that's basically the basics of how a level in Peace Star will work. Now there's one thing I did that I have not shown you yet. If you press on keyboard the C key, you'll do these. These are taunts. If you defeat enough enemies, you will unlock what is called a super taunt. You'll know you have a super taunt if Kino starts having like little white lightning sparks around him. If you, when you get a super taunt, if you press up and C at the same time, you will get a screen name. I will show that here in my master save box. So you may be asking, why are we going into the master save file? And I'm going to tell you why. Because I'm going to show you what AP rank is like. Because I've gotten AP rank on John Gutter. Got AP rank on Keith's Escape. I've gotten AP rank on the first boss. I've gotten AP rank on Ancient Cheese. And I've gotten AP rank on Blood Sauce Dungeon. 
so, what do you say I show you what people love the most about Pizza Tower, which is... Nope, wrong stage. Wrong stage. We haven't gotten to Pizza Skate yet in the, in the main playthrough. Or, or my playthrough. Going back to Don Gutter Hall. Now, I'm going to be quiet so I can focus. But, here we go.
So that is a key ring. As you can tell, I kept my combo the whole time on the second row through. Uh, I collected every secret, eyes, and I did the last two. I'll not be doing that for every single level. Simply because it took me four hours to get a key ring on every single level in here. On floor one, I have not even attempted that on any other level, except for the final one, when I got that in the new game plus. So, what do you say for our last level of the video? We do keep escape, and uh, we'll call it there. And we'll finish floor one in the next episode. Sound good? All right. Oh, wow. Um, you could stop it from So, yes, this isn't going to be an all key rank run. Anyway, peace is Like many of the levels in Pizza Tower, Fred Vegeta has a unique ending associated to it. And what's the one for this stage you might want? Well, you thought on the title screen, and we'll get to it here in just a second. Barrel on top of these enemies. Pizza Tower. A very fast game. And it throws you into the deep end immediately. Like, it's shown you everything you needed to do in the tutorial. Go no use. Anyway, here's our unique. A, a suit of armor. This suit of armor changes up the piano a lot. For one, you can do a double jump. You can also do a. Ground pound stab. Here's our good friend. Oh! Uh, the armor also makes Kino. Heavy. Therefore, you don't have to uh, ground stomp or uh, run into enemies at W3. This is Mach 3. Uh, uh, you don't have to run into them. You just have to touch them. Let's just see here. Sword. Boom. And real quick, I am just gonna grab the secret behind this wall. Some of my P-Rank techniques might come in just because of muscle memory. So I'm sorry, but that's how it goes. I encourage a lot of you all, if you do want to pick up this game, whether on Steam or on Nintendo Switch, to explore the levels yourself, come up with your own routes for the main race, and if you're a 100 percenter, 100 percenter. I like the Kino suit. I think it's fancy. And of course, because I am just that guy, I am how to double jump. Well, I didn't double jump. I single jump. So I guess on the transformation itself, I quite like it. I think it's fun to play. It's just like an indestructible game. Much like the stuff crust on the So see, you can just walk into the enemies with the armor transformation, and you'll beat them. And you also crash through giant frickin' rats. And this is that white lightning effect I was trying to have earlier. That should be And also, another trick 
when you do a super jump, if you uh, dash in either the left or right direction, you can charge in that way. So it's a nice super in that direction. So it's a nice way for you to be able to keep the momentum going. not dash too much, because he can and will like to get stuck on the dash. And up here is our third and final. We have to let this guy kick us. And we turn into a wrecking ball. This isn't my fault. Through. Mostly, A rank and B rank towards like the final floor. Then I was like all C's. So, as you can see, well, actually, that's a good segue into our final thing before we end the video. So, as you can see in the total in the lower right hand corner, I have a hundred dollars, and there was a message that said, "Mr. Stick, a boss game." So, come over here, we'll see our guy, Mr. Stick. Who is offering a hundred dollars, that little penny pincher? That is why I said, you know, get as many of the toppings as you can uh, in your first run through of a level. Because if you meet the quota early, if you don't want to, you don't have to play the other two levels. So if you want to skip them, if you have enough, you don't have to play every single level. I like to play every single level because I like to get the most out of the games that I play. Um, but I am not going to give Mr. Stick, a little greedy moocher, any money right away. I'm going to save to give him the money so after we beat Ancient Cheese and show one Sauce Dungeon. But speaking of Ancient Cheese, I think Ancient Cheese will be a good place for us to pick up next time. Next time on Pizza Tower, watch me take on the last two levels in World 1 before fighting the boss of this floor, gaining the key so we can go up the next floor. See you all then!